So Access Bank offers a virtual dollar card that you can find on the app and in this video I want to try to create it to see if it will work and then I will be testing it out online to see if it will work as well. Okay, so for you to create the virtual dollar card, you need a domiciliary account and um, you can do that. I've made a video on how to create domiciliary account with Access Bank. I'll link that in the description. Anyway, so I'm going to open the app now and then I'm going to sign in. So as you can see down here, there's an option called virtual cards. You don't necessarily need to use this option because some of you may not have the same interface as I do. So what you need to do is to come down here to menu and then you can see over here it says checks and cards. Tap it and over here it says virtual cards. So you select it. Okay, so I want to create a new card. So I'll tap here. Over here it's going to show your account number. So you just select your domiciliary account. Okay, so this is my domiciliary account. I currently have $140 on it. And um, the hundred dollars was money I deposited in cash, and the forty dollars is money that was transferred to me. Okay, so I'll select card type, which is virtual card. I like the blue card, so I'll swipe here. So if you click here, you'll be able to choose a name for the card. So I'll input my name. As you can see, my name is displaying over here. Okay, so what I'll do next is tap get issuance fee. So it will cost me around two dollars sixty cents to create a virtual dollar card. So I'll tap order card and then I'll input my pin. Okay, so it says success card created successfully. I didn't expect it to work, but well, it did work. Okay, so I'll tap close. And now as you can see, I have my virtual dollar card with Access Bank. If I tap on it, there are different details here. There's currently zero dollars on the account. So I can tap here to fund the card. I can get the card statement here and I can block the card from here. If I want, I'll be able to cancel the card. They said balance on the card will be unloaded. Okay, so if I decide to cancel the card, then the balance on the card will be sent back to my domiciliary account, which is quite good. But uh, if you want to create another card, then you have to pay for it. So it doesn't seem like there's a way to directly withdraw from the card. So let's see what will happen if I try to fund the card with um, 100 and let's say $20. So I'm going to select my domiciliary account. All right, instead of 120, I think I'll use 110. Okay, so next I'll tap fund card and then I input my PIN. Well, unfortunately, I cannot fund the card using $110 because the $100 I have here was actually deposited in cash. So it seems like you can't do anything with that $100 unless you go to the bank and withdraw it as well. So I can only fund it with $39, which to me is not ideal. So you can create a card. You can create a virtual dollar card with it, but you can't use the money you deposited in cash to create a virtual dollar card. I I guess for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is and I'll go and withdraw the $100 in cash at the bank. Well, yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Ask me any questions you may have and yeah, that's all. Bye-bye.